What's going on guys, Dark Kraken here, and today I'm back with another unboxing. So last Monday I unboxed the, oh excuse me, last uh, last Monday I, I uh, unboxed for you guys the um, starter pack for Star Wars Armada. I have two ships here plus two squadrons. I have the TIE Fighter Squadron, the X-Wing Squadron, the Nebula B, and the Corvette. Now I'm bringing back another unboxing for today, and this is one of the expansion packs, and it is the ISD, the Imperial Class Star Destroyer. And yes, it is opened, like I said, all, all of these, um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six ships there. Um, well, hold on, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ships that are expansion packs. Um, I don't have all a lot of them, but I will be unboxing these seven for you so you guys know what's in these, and hopefully you guys will like to buy these. Um, I hope you guys want to buy the expansion pack. That is a really fun thing, even if you're just playing the expansion pack. This is the ISD Imperial Class Star Destroyer. I have these guys here so that I can show you a size comparison compared to them. So let's get into this box because I want you guys to really see what's in these. So opening it up, I open up the ship side first so that we can get a look at what the ship looks like. So as you, when you open this up, it comes in a little plastic case like this. See, so just a little plastic case. So how you open it is there's three parts. The bottom part, and then these two parts right here. One that holds the ship, one that covers the ship. There's two little finger things in here that you allow, you, allow you to pop it up. Pop it up. So now, I'm going to, this one's a little bit tougher, it's a more secure box than usual, there, and then we're going to put this on, like this, I like keeping my box in mint condition, I mean there is some cracks on this box because of wear and tear, but I like to keep it mostly in mint condition, so we're going to set that over there. So, here's your, IS, your Imperial class. Star Destroyer. There's a side view of it. There's a front view. Back view. The sides are pretty much the same on either side. The bottom view. So let's get a look at those hangers too. Secondary and first and your first hangar bay. Second and first hangar bay. And then we're going to look at the top, right there. Very detailed. They detail this guy real nice. So, that's your Imperial Class Star Destroyer. It's a very nice class of Star Destroyer. So, if I take, so let me take your, so, within number four, the movie number four, the fourth movie um, in the trilogy, um, you see the iconic scene where these two are chasing each other, or, well, the SS, the ISD is chasing the Corvette. Um, I know I mentioned this in the first video where I was unboxing them. These are not to scale, these smaller ships, because within the movie, there's that big hangar bay. This is meant to, like, fit in that hangar bay in the movie. Well, as you can see, it can't. So if I were to take this head, that can fit in there. Maybe if it was a little bigger... But that would be the equivalent size of this Corvette, pretty much. If they did it to size accurate. That's why they made this such, such a bigger, a bigger ship, excuse me, a bigger ship. Now, if we did the TIE Fighter Squadron, that's what they look like compared to the SSD. They're big, but if you could imagine, they should, they're supposed to be small enough to fit in here. But because they need to be big pieces so you can see them, that's why they did it like that. So that's my SSD. Uh, let's get into the other pieces so that you can see this. So, what we first are going to do is you unbox it from the side. There's a little, if you've never gotten an expansion pack before, there's a little white box that you get on the side that has everything in it. So, if we get the stand, so you get the clear stand with your shields, shield dials on that. 
you get your fin and this is this is a large base so like I was talking about in the other video this is a medium base this is a big large base you can really see the difference in these now so there's that now you get one of these checklist cards which is really nice so it just opens up to this it tells you the instructions how to play with it what cards come with it um, and then tells you everything you need to know on that so that's really nice to have so I'll actually I'm set this over here okay so what you get within the pack so we're gonna open this so you get four tokens which are the navigation squadrons um, engineering and concentrated fire those are the four tokens you get you also get your exhaust tokens these are what I was kind of talking about your exhaust so they're like these little green cards and when you use them you flip them over and then like two rounds away you can flip them flip them back if they're red and you use them you they destroy them so be careful with these which I'll teach you guys in the game so there's that one um, so if we go into the bag you get, because this is a, a large ship, you get three command dials, just like just like your victory, you get three of them. You get a movement, a movement speed dial, which you get in those. And now onto your plate, your little plate. Now you have Imperial One class, Star Destroyer, Imperial One, and you get Imperial Two. I usually put it on Imperial 1 due to that it's my first Star Destroyer. So you put it on like this, you take your fin, lock it in, take your ship, and it fits just like that. So this one actually, so I have the stand for the Victory right here. It actually sits taller than the Victory class. I don't have it here, but the Victory would sit about here. So it, this makes it easier because of how big this ship is so that these little ships can kind of cruise on under it instead of it being the same size and nicking the wing as it flies by. So that's another thing that's really good about having an SS or an ISD. So that's the ISD right there. What you get with it is you get an Imperial 1 class Star Destroyer right there. Imperial 1 class, you can look at all that stuff, you can go to a speed of 3 on this one, has health of 11, or you can use an Imperial 2 class, pretty much the same thing except for firing are different, Imperial 1 have black dice, Imperial 2 have all blue dice, so, I mean it just depends how you want to play. Now into the upgradation cards. So, what you first get with, um, like I was saying with the old ones, I'm gonna move these back so that you guys can see them in order and just actually see them clearly. Um, uh, you really want to use your SS, your ISD, and all of their commanders and stuff. So what you first get is you get an admiral, and the admiral you get is Darth Vader. So that's one of the that's the admiral you get with each ship. Every expansion pack you get, you get an Admiral, so for this one it's Darth Vader. Um, for one of your captains you can have Captain Nida. I usually put him with my ship, with my Super Starter shirt, because he really does good stuff with it. He gives me a um, Evade token, which is really good. Um, another one you can use is Wing Commander. Pretty nice card. I usually don't use it because I don't activate squadrons with my Super Star Destroyer. I usually do at squadrons with my Victory class, but it just depends how you want to do it. For this one, you you got Ruthless Strategies. This is that card. Ruthless Strategy. You get a Support Officer, which you can use. You also got Tactical an expert tactical expert you get a secondary you get a second tactical expert so I'm not going to show you that one again engineering captain 
this one helps you with engineering, like, things, even, I mean, name says literally what it does, which is engineering, um, but you could pretty much use it with uh, any of your engineering needs, which is really nice. So, uh, next we have um, this one, electronic countermeasures, helps you when you get um, a card that says you can't move or your power is shutting down and stuff. For this one, we've got Phylon Q7 Tractor Beam. This one really does help because you can slow down a ship to literally zero. Um, you can't control it, like move it around the board, but I can bring it all the way down to zero so that I can get in a better position to open fire. Um, for this one, you get re uh, Renderant Shields. Very good because you can move shields around. Because when you're when you move shields, you have to do it from the opposite zone. That actually helps you really a, a really good amount to move shields. Boosted comms is another one you get with um, this ship. I uh, highly recommend you place this with your ship. It makes it a little bit more powerful. Slaved turrets. This one is a really powerful one because you use this um, and you get some dice in your deck or in your uh, pool, your pool of dice, it really does help you a lot because you get more firepower to your ships, to your ship. Um, you get heavy turbo laser turrets, really good. Um, your opponent cannot use a brace on this one um, because it's almost like throwing a rock at someone and they're like bracing but they still hurt themselves. That's what it's like. This thing pumbles the ships with these, with these turrets and they can't brace and use anything because it's just pounding them to oblivion. Um, you get the NK-7 Ion Cannon. I use this sometimes when um, someone is at really close range. I use this because you add a black die, um, but you don't want to use this any earlier because you can't really because you need uh, black or blue. But I uh, this one's a blue, but um, I usually wait till they're at close range because then I can make sure that I can use more. So then the three card names you get, like I said in the beginning, you get the Avenger. I'll let you look at that card. They really do good with these pictures. So there's the Avenger. There's the Devastator. I usually use the Devastator name. Um, one, because it sounds very scary. Um, and two, um, it gives you special abilities, which I really like this one. Um, yeah, it gives you uh, one blue die you can add to your attack pool on any arc instead of just being a specific arc like forward or aft uh, um, arc or left or right arc it can do any arc that's why I usually use this one um, and then ruthless relentless excuse me relentless this one I've used I think two times yeah yeah I do I did use this once I didn't like it because so like when you use your command dials with this one, it actually allowed you to take one away, so now your ship is a level 2. And I didn't really like it because I expected that this one would be a 3, so I'm always planning for a 3 when I use an Imperial class. So it, so that's why I usually never use it, but I mean, there's some people who really like using Ruth, uh, Relentless. Um, but that's why I need those ships. Um, so that's the ISD, the um, Imperial class Star Destroyer. Um, this one was kind of a quicker video. I know um, the last one was a little longer. Sorry for that. Um, I mean, it just takes a really long time to learn uh, Star Wars Armada. I will be doing the instruction read. Um, that one will be a little bit long um, because uh, that one, I will actually be going through the instructions with you, making sure you guys understand it um, because I know there's some people who don't and that that's okay. Um, you don't have to fully understand it, it's just you should get the basics before you ever get the game. Um, and I'm hoping you guys do get the starter pack. Hopefully you guys, if you do like the um, Imperial class, I do recommend you get it. This was my second ship that I got after getting the starter pack. Um, just because I love the IS, or the ISD. Yeah. Um, I highly recommend you guys get it. Um, if you guys want to, like learn when I'm doing certain things. Um, every Monday I will be doing a unboxing. 
um, until I run out. Um, I'm also going to be starting gaming, the gaming stuff for Star Wars Armada. Um, it just depends when I can get it done. Um, hopefully you guys are wa can watch these. Um, I hope you guys like these for another thing. If you guys really do like these, um, I hope you guys like the game even if you're not a Star Wars fan. I'd highly recommend you guys really do get this if you want to find Star Wars Armada, the core set unboxing. If you go there, I did put in the description how much the core set is. I highly recommend you get it. Um, so yeah, um, I'm also going to be doing um, facts about these ships um, and actually more talking about them in depth if they were really um, like going into the movie depth and the legends and the theory depth so that you guys can understand these ships. I won't do it in this video, I am, am going to do it in another video so you guys might see the same shirt um, because I'm about to do that video too so that you guys can understand and learn more about these ships. Even if you don't um, aren't fully into Star Wars, it's really good to learn about these ships because you can actually use these in Star Wars Armada because that's what they do. They pull from theories, they pull from movies and they say, okay, this ship da 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 like, like the little pat pamphlets you get with each ship, it tells you facts about them. So I'm going to be going over history of the ISD, um, I will be going over history of the Victory, the Nebulon, the Corvette, and all the other ships. Um, I will be going into the theories, so I hope you guys don't get mad about that, because there are theories out there about these ships and how they were made. Um, I like them, some people do like them, some don't because they're theories. Eh, theories are scary. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Please tell me in the comments below if you really do like this. Like hit a th like hit the thumbs up button, smash notifications, and hit that subscribe button. It really does help me make these videos possible for you. Um, and if you guys want to see more, um, I'm more than happy to show you this game. I know I will be playing the starter set soon, so be tuned in for that video. Um, hopefully I'll be able to answer some of your questions about Star Wars Armada if you guys have any. Um, don't be afraid to ask, ask in the comments. I will try to respond to them because I know there's a lot of people that do want to get the game but they have some questions. It's almost like buying a new car. You have questions about the car like how many miles does it have, so, and so on and so forth. Highly recommend you ask the questions and I will try to explain them as quickly as I can and play the game for you. I know I will be playing the game with some friends so you guys will see that. It'll actually be on this mat on this table that I'm on so you'll actually see this table and you'll see uh, the layout I will put on the other side of this table. You'll see how I upgrade it. We won't play with upgrations um, but I will lay it out so you guys can see what it will look like laid out with upgrade cards and with an admiral. Um, and that's pretty much it so if you guys really do um, like these videos um, please tell me in the comments and as always please hit that thumbs up button I know I said it before but hit the thumbs up button hit that hit the subscribe button hit the notification it really does help me it actually brings me up to know that you guys do like these videos and as always I'll see you in the next video bye